Hi friends, I'm Malak Mukherjee. In my earlier videos about making crossover network for two-way and three-way systems, I have received many comments about calculation of values of components for the network. In this video, I have tried to give you some basic calculations by which you can get the required values. Two main components used in a crossover network are non-polar capacitor and inductor coil. After the audio frequencies are separated in low and high, some resistors also may be required to adjust the sound level. For first order network, that is 6 dB per octave, in which only one item is used in each section as shown in this figure. Here the inductor L passes the low frequency and blocks high frequency going to the woofer. Similarly, the capacitor C blocks low frequency and allows high frequency going to the tweeter. Here these equations are used to find the values of the inductor L and the capacitor C. Here F is for crossover frequency in Hertz and R is for the resistance of the speaker coil. For second order crossover network that is 12 dB per octave, we have to multiply R by root 2 and both capacitors and inductors of each section will have the same value. Now for example, let us calculate the values of A and C for crossover frequency at 3000 Hz and speaker impedance of 8 ohms. From calculations, we find the value of L uh, to be 0 0.6 milliampere, and the value of C is 4.7 microfarad. So let us draw the diagram of a 2-way 12 dB crossover network with the values of components. This network is for crossover point at 3000 Hz and speaker impedance of 8 ohms. This is the diagram of 2-way 12 dB per octave crossover network. For second order network, it is recommended to use the tweeter in reverse phase for better results. Uh, it is shown in the diagram. Now we can also use the same crossover diagram to make a passive filter for a subwoofer. For that purpose, we shall take the low frequency section only, which will be like this. For subwoofer filter, let us consider the crossover point at 120 Hz and the speaker impedance of 4 ohms. Then from the same equation shown earlier, we get L equal to 7.5 milliampere, and the capacitor C is equal to 235 microfarad. For making inductor coil, you can see my earlier video on passive network for subwoofer. Uh, the link is given below in the description. For making a non-polar capacitor of 235 microfarad, you have to take to 470 microfarad 100 to 160 volt range capacitors and join them in series with both negative ends joined together. So the effective capacitor value will be 235 microfarad. So this is how you can calculate values of the components for two-way first order and second order crossover network and also the component values for subwoofer passive filters. If you have liked the video, please subscribe the channel to get more videos like this.